Hey everybody, Maria Weaver here with Simplified Partners. So glad to be back with you on another video. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on FreshBooks, which is a wonderful accounting platform that a lot of small businesses are looking into. I wanted to put this video together and give you just an overview of how the system works if you haven't yet signed up. So if you are a small business owner in home services space, maybe a restorer or landscaper, even if you're doing client work as a solopreneur, this video is for you. It's also gonna be for you if you currently don't have any kind of accounting software, or if you have an accounting software, maybe QuickBooks, and you're looking for a more affordable solution, this video is also gonna be for you. So in the video, I'm gonna be focusing on four things. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is where FreshBooks falls kind of in, in, the, in the area of accounting software so that you understand what are all the players as of 2024 and why I've selected FreshBooks as a really good option for service-based businesses. Then I'm gonna go into three other points and that's gonna be specifically in the FreshBooks software. I'm gonna share with you one of the advantages is that you're able to invite your accountant Point number two is you're able to measure your profitability on projects for a lot less money than you can with QuickBooks. And then the last one, we're gonna talk about the feature differences and why it's just really a lot easier to use FreshBooks in 2024 than it is QuickBooks Online. So let's go ahead and get started. The first point I wanna talk about is FreshBooks and where it sits in the marketplace with other accounting software. So you have QuickBooks Online, which is the number one small business accounting solution in the US. You also have Xero, which is a company out of New Zealand. They're also a very, very solid um, accounting platform for small businesses. You might have heard of Zoho Books. So I've had other videos on my channel where I'm talking about these other systems. And then you have FreshBooks. So even though QuickBooks is a fantastic accounting system and it is absolutely number one in the US and in many other countries, what's happened over the last couple of years is Intuit, which is the parent company, has started to acquire other companies. They have purchased Credit Karma. They have purchased MailChimp. And so what's happened is very small businesses are really feeling the pinch in their pocketbook because QuickBooks has continued to increase their pricing. So. For example, let's say that you're a landscaper and you have, let's say, 100 different residential homes that you're servicing every month. Um, and you might wanna see what's the profit on my property. Or let's say that you work with property management companies and you wanna look at what the profitability is for you by each of your, pro of your project management companies, all of the properties that you're mowing and weed eating and let's say all of that. You're able to do that in QuickBooks, but because of the increased pricing that they've had, you're looking at about $90 at least per month to be able just to see that piece. Now, of course, if you buy that subscription level of QuickBooks, you're getting a lot of other things as well. But what's happening is as the, the, as the rates are increasing, they're adding these other features, but the average small business owner doesn't really need all those features, nor do they have the time to learn the feature nor do they want to pay an accountant, somebody like me that knows the features, to then teach you about them because the value may or may not be there for your business. So one of the reasons that I love FreshBooks as an accounting platform is that they're really focused on a specific type of business. FreshBooks isn't going to be your answer if you're an e-commerce business, if you're a retail business. It's not going to fit your needs because you have products, you have inventory, you have other things FreshBooks is not in the market to win that type of small business. But if you are a service provider, if you provide one-to-one -one client services, and especially if you're a solopreneur, there's really no reason for you to have QuickBooks unless you just use all of the features and really know the system frontward and backward and have used it for some time. So that's really what's happened in the marketplace. You still have Zero, you still have Zoho Books, and the pricing across those platforms it's pretty similar, but FreshBooks definitely has a much lower price. So what you're looking at paying $90 a month for QuickBooks Online for that project feature, you are looking at maybe anywhere from $40 to $60 per month for FreshBooks. But I'm gonna give you some other benefits that I see, as I mentioned before, as we get into the platform. 
the first thing I want to share with you, let's go get into the actual software now, is when you come into FreshBooks, you're going to see a dashboard. And the dashboard is actually very, very helpful. You don't have to navigate to another place. You just want to take a minute when you come into FreshBooks and look at your dashboard and say, okay, what is this telling me? The first thing I'm seeing is my outstanding invoices. So I'm able to say, okay, I have $11,000 outstanding and some invoices. So FreshBooks shows you when you first log in what you need to take action on. Now, obviously you might have logged in here to do something else, but always take a second to look at your dashboard because this is really valuable information. FreshBooks also shows you your revenue and expenses by month, so you're able to keep track of this. And this is just a sample file, by the way, so imagine if you had your data in here, you'd be able to see. You really care about your profit, right? So they put your profits right on the dashboard of FreshBooks for you to take a look at. And then you have revenue streams and spending. So back to the first point I mentioned is that you're able to invite your accountant. So FreshBooks has recently made some really great changes for people like me to be able to access multiple clients from within my own dashboard. So if you look over here, I have this um, area on my menu called clients. That's where I'm able to go from one client file in FreshBooks to another client file in FreshBooks. So this is something they had been working on and it, it was there but kind of in a different way and now it's so much more streamlined. So you're able to invite a bookkeeper, an accountant, a partner that's helping you with your business finances so easily in FreshBooks. And the other really great thing is that you don't have to pay for them. You don't have to pay for somebody like me to access your books. You can give me access, I can request access from you, and it's just great, and we know who has access to your file. The next thing I wanna talk about is going back to project profitability. This is so important as a home service business owner that you understand what you're looking at when it comes to your projects and are you making money on your projects. So in this, again, not all versions of FreshBooks do have this ability, just wanna call that out, but if you have this subscription level, you're able to do that. So when you click on projects, I have some just sample projects set up here. I have 1010 Elm Street, Knoxville Fifth Third Bank, and Memphis Regions Bank, and I've selected, um, this is my actual customer that I have. So my, if you go into the project, you're gonna see that this is the client that I'm working with for XYZ Landscaping Company. So let me back up and just share with you what this is. So what I'm able to do in FreshBooks is I'm able to say, okay, I have this one company, as we talked about before, it could be a project management company and you're doing different locations, or it could be something like I'm working with XYZ Landscaping Company and they want me to handle these three properties very similar to the first example you're able to set up these and then you're able to measure how profitable you are so let's say for Re Memphis Regions Bank I have this project and I have these different really items that you can attach to the project the first thing you can do is you can have time tracking so you can actually say I tracked my time I was doing landscaping services for three hours and this one is marked as unbilled. So you can decide if you're gonna bill the hours or if you're just gonna include the time on an invoice. The next thing you can do is create invoices. And when you create an invoice, you are able to notice how it's already selected your project and then you go and you say add the invoice. It's already added my landscaping services and then I can add another line for these services. I'm gonna cancel out of that. Then let's say that you have other expenses for this job. So you go and get gas, or you have to go repair the weed eater, or you have to, whatever you have to do, your labor charges, any kind of expenses that you have, you're able to attach those to the project. And then what happens when you go over to review section up here and click on profitability, you're gonna be able to see a nice graphic that shows build is this amount, cost, which is always in FreshBooks, they use a piece of pizza for expenses. Then you can see your total cost, and then you can see your total profit. This, I would say, is one of the most important things as a service-based business owner that you can understand. 
And I know there's a lot of things that you do as a small business owner, but understanding how profitable profitable that you are in your business, it affects everything else. It affects how you're gonna price future jobs. It affects if you can afford to hire anyone else. It affects when you can hire someone else. It affects so many things and helps you to make so many different decisions. So I would highly advise you, whether you wanna use FreshBooks or not, that you implement project, what we call job costing in some circles, in your business. And so there'll be some links below in the video. If you wanna have more help, just in general, how to start tracking this, I'm definitely gonna help you to set up FreshBooks if you don't have a platform, but certainly just the practice in general is something that you want to do. So more information below if you want some help with that. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, really the last point, let me, I'll just cover my points again. The first point of using FreshBooks is that you're easily able to invite your accountants. The second point is that you're able to do this project profitability for a lot less per month than you do over in the QuickBooks world. And then the third thing I want to finish with is that you will have a lot less to learn using this tool than you will with QuickBooks. So if, if we go over to the dashboard, I'm just gonna quickly go through your menu so that you can see what is here, why it matters, and what isn't here. And do a little bit of a comparison to QuickBooks Online so that you can see those differences. When you go into um, invoices, actually we'll wait and go to estimates. Estimate is also a feature in QuickBooks, but in FreshBooks it's a lot easier to find. Estimates are something that a lot of businesses like yours might use where you wanna give someone an estimate and then you wanna see if they accept your estimate or not. So it's very simple. You just click on estimate. You don't have to dig around to how to add an estimate. And then you simply create a new estimate. You also have the option to do a proposal. This is nice because if you want your customer, your potential customer to sign that document, you can absolutely use the proposal feature and it gives the e-signature in with it, which is great. So you have this option to do either one, either an estimate and then you email the estimate through the software or you can do a proposal. The other nice thing about it is that when you have an estimate or proposal and they accept it, it automatically can be created as an invoice. So then your invoices will appear here. And so you can see all of these different just sample invoices that I have where I've set up, I'm um, charging them for bookkeeping services every month because I do bookkeeping for XYZ in this example. You can just see all of your invoices that you have charged. You have a payments area, so you are able to track all of your payments here, whether you have accepted a check payment, an ACH payment, or it's an auto draft where you're just automatically um, charging their card. All of those payments will show up here. And then a couple other things you have, you have expenses, you have an option, let me just click off of that. You have an option to have expenses, you can also have an option to have bills and then vendors. Another nice feature is you are able to do time tracking. One thing that's really great about FreshBooks is that if you have other people that work for you, so a lot of time home service businesses are gonna have contractors, they're gonna have employees, they're gonna have people that they're paying either they're paying them cash at the end of the week or they're a, a, a W-2 employee, however, they are able to track time straight from FreshBooks. And so you're not giving them access to your accounting software, but FreshBooks has given them the ability just to track their time. And so, and you don't pay, like you still pay for that person to track their time, but it's not the same cost as like if you were to add like another full-time person that's gonna help you with the, with the accounting, if that makes sense. So everybody is able to track time in FreshBooks. And then as you've seen with the projects feature, they're also able to track time on the project. So that's really helpful. And then the last thing I'll cover here is the payroll. So in the past, FreshBooks didn't really have a way for you to run payroll or have a payroll option. But luckily they have partnered with my very favorite payroll system called Gusto. And so now the two are synced. And so it's so wonderful. You can run your payroll in Gusto. 
and then it basically sends entries into FreshBooks with all of the withholdings and the taxes and all the things we need to make sure that the payroll transactions are correct. There's now this integration between Gusto and FreshBooks. And before, if you've wondered about this, I don't have any data here in Bank Connection, but FreshBooks works just like QuickBooks Online, where you're able to connect your bank accounts, you're able to connect your credit card accounts, and you're able to do all of that categorization and reconciliation just the way that you do it in QuickBooks. So to finish out this feature, or this third comment, is that you have access to the features you need, but you it's not so feature rich that you get lost in the software or that you feel like, I don't have any time to, to learn all of this and I don't really wanna learn all of this. So if you're looking for a simple accounting platform that you can use to create invoices, you can connect your bank and credit card accounts to, and be able to keep up a simple accounting system so that you're ready for tax time or to run your financial report so that you can see where you are in your financial health, then FreshBooks is a really great option. So if you need any help at all and if you've got more questions about FreshBooks, you would like my help to set up your own FreshBooks account. Maybe you don't wanna even start it, you just want our help to set it up. Or if you already have FreshBooks but you're not sure how to use it or you just want our help to get you caught up and current with all of your books, feel free to reach out to us below. I've got some links in the description. So I'd love to hear your comments on this video and anything else that I can address in future videos, please leave a note for me below. I so appreciate you watching. Talk with you soon.